Hello, I am Jenny Leckie. Today we will be exploring Synth and Adobe Spark. They are web apps that can be used to encourage mindfulness and student voice in the classroom. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell to enable notifications for our channel by clicking our logo during the video. Also, leave us a comment or check out our related videos by clicking the pop-up cards in the upper right corner. Here's how to get started with Synth. Synth is a wonderful tool for including podcasting in the classroom. You can use the web-based version or the Apple version. Let's get started. When you first log in, it'll go to your feed. At the top, you can click Explore, and you can check out all different types of podcasts. The main place you'll hang out is the Podcast tab. So on this tab is where you'll find your collection of podcast stations. So what you do first is create a station, and then within that, you can share a link to give to students to record episodes. Let's create a podcast. Click the red button, give it a title, and then at the bottom right, hit Start Podcast. There are website links and also embed codes if you'd like to put it on a website, ways to share it with students. And here's your podcast. So now you'd share this link and students would come to this page, but there aren't any episodes created. All you need to do is hit the plus sign on the right side. This is what students would do. They'd click this and they'd hit start and they just record their audio. It gives them a timer and this really helps them to be mindful with what they're saying and creating. It makes them be concise and precise with their word choice. Once they're done, they hit stop. You can preview by hitting play or you can hit record and add more content. Once you feel you're done, at the bottom hit done. And it processes it, you can preview it. You can also add music and sound effects. Hit next, give it a title. You can organize by hashtags if chosen. And hit next, and you're done. Hit send. And it creates a specific web page just for that episode. So this is the page that students will see once it's published. You can play right on the website or hit the share button. And there's many options here, including downloading the option. A neat tool that is included is creating a thread. So students can create a digital conversation by clicking and responding to what the students said. They can also type comments. So this is a great way to create a mindful digital conversation as well as showcasing student work. Adobe Spark is another great tool for using student voice and mindfulness in the classroom. This lets you narrate any kind of visual product. It can be created in the program or ahead of time. So the first place to start is start now and sign up using your Google account. Once you logged in, this is the home screen. I wanna take you to some of the templates. There are all types of content that you can create. It really opens the door to your student's imagination and self-expression. Maybe they create a piece of content for your class YouTube station. Maybe they create a graphic for your class Instagram, or maybe it's content for the classroom. The possibilities are endless. There's an entire section just for teaching. So students can use these templates or they can venture out on their own. On the home screen, you can access projects here on the left-hand side. And as you can see, there are already a set of projects. Let's go into one that I've already created. As you can see on the bottom, there are a variety of slides. And when you click on the slides, you can see there's a recorded narration. To record and add additional audio, all you have to do is hit the record slide. So that way students can create a slide and tell you what they were thinking about in that moment. At any time, students can hit preview at the top or play at the side and check out what it looks like so far. After you're satisfied with your product, you can hit share or you can download it to your device. This is a great way for students to use their voice to show the world their understanding of content and to show their mastery of skills. Plus, it allows them to have an expanded audience. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, or reply to one of our other videos, or share the playlist below. Subscribe to our channel and enable notifications so that you don't miss out on the next episode. Don't forget to check out our other resources like Discast Podcast, 
and see what else is going on in Horry County Schools. Be sure to follow at Deer Distance on social media or contact us via email or our blog.